right now we're looking at the new transom area of the boat. We have sealed engine mounting bolts. We have waterproof rigging tubes. We have glued in inspection covers. Bulkhead fittings for our steering to come through. We also have available any number of custom rods across the back of the boat you'd like to have. Uh, this boat has a dozen on the back. Uh, a lot of times we do eight or 10 or 12, whichever one you like. Here we're showing you the access to the rear facing cooler and seat that we have on this uh, nautical design seat that we use. Uh, probably a 110 quart cooler under here with an acrylic lid and you put that down and you got a nice lid here to uh, watch your baits while you're trolling or either slow trolling or offshore trolling. You get to watch all your baits right here. We'll show you down in the bilge. One of the places we spend the most time refining this boat. Again, a couple more custom bucket holders in here to show you getting those out of the way. The engine fuel selector switches right here with the, order, the uh, fuel filter and water separators that are all hooked into the uh, wiring harness of the engines to alert you of any trouble. Here we got our stainless steel door frame on our nice hinges to hold it in place with a pin in there so you can't get it to come, it won't bounce open in any sea condition. Nice scupper drain with a huge pipe so you don't have ever have any backup in the back of the boat if you have any water get in here. We've upgraded the stainless steel faucets. This is our fresh water supply valve here. There's two raw water supply valves in the boat just forward of this area. We also put six rod holders uh, under the gunnel with a carpet pad, uh, three on starboard, three on the port side of the boat. Here's one of the stainless steel raw water uh, faucets in the boat. This is an upgraded Focal stereo system that we use. I put a uh, eight foot, two inch gaff in here. If we come across a stray dolphin or two, hopefully we can have lunch with him. Here's another one of our fish boxes. There's four side mounted fish boxes and one huge center mounted fish box in the front that we'll look at in a second. We've got that huge gasket again, self closing stainless steel hardware, stainless steel gas shock, oversized gutter, and a huge diaphragm pump that uh, removes all the waste out of your fish box right there, as well as three quarter inch overboard drain. And there's four of these boxes on the boat. Here I'm standing inside of our new center mounted fish box. It has its own macerator with overboard line on it. Two stainless steel gas struts, the same gasketed fitted uh, seal, self closing stainless steel hardware. Here, just to show you how big this fish box I'm gonna get in the fish box and sit down in the fish box. So, uh, anybody wants to know if we got a good enough fish box to put their fish in? Right here we got our life jacket storage uh, with our life jackets right put inside of here. So if you need them in a big hurry, here they are ready for you to get out in a big hurry. Uh, hopefully you'll never need them, but they'll be right there in case you do. Here we're looking at the uh, LED lights with an integrated light box on the back of the top with two spreader lights for rigging your baits and when you're easing out to the uh, fishing grounds. This is the storage area for your rods while you're fishing to keep the rods out of the way. I keep eight rods up there when we're fishing and some of the rods are extra. we we'll keep these up here in this area. Here we have the molded in LED light in the brand new 2011 model hardtop. On this particular boat, I think there's around 59 or 60 rod holders. You know, any, any number of rod holders, you're, you're welcome to have as many as you like. Um, I had this boat set up for king mackerel fishing, 
Uh, we do a lot of tournaments. We also have it set up for striped bass fishing in the Chesapeake Bay where you drift a lot of eels. So down the side of the boat, we have a rod holder set up for drifting. We have rod holders set up for storage while we're fishing and also for transportation while we're running out to the fishing ground. So sounds like a lot of rod holders, but you get to fishing hard, you know, 10, 15, 20 tournaments and you're going to be glad you got them in all these places. And we'd be glad to offer that for anybody who'd like to have those or even more. We've also relocated the 12 volt batteries, the trim tab motors, and the power steering pump to inside the console from the bilge area to help prevent them from getting any saltwater intrusion on them. Here we got our uh, hookup for our taco outriggers. Hook them in here. We got a, a long rigger clip and a short rigger clip for offshore fishing. The bottom of the boat runs exceptionally well, extremely dry, extremely fast, and it's extremely efficient. We have a step bottom boat with a pad keel, two latest steps on the bottom of the boat. The geometry of the bottom of our boat helps you go faster, further, smoother on the same amount of fuel as other boats go, burn less fuel, and have a smoother ride if he doesn't want to go that fast, but he has all that as an advantage.